What is going on, Safe Moon Army? It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another daily video for you all. Now, before I jump into the topic of this video, if you have not yet, feel free to come subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. It helps bring more exposure to Safe Moon when you guys do that. And I definitely do appreciate every single one of you who have been supporting this channel. It does mean a lot. And so feel free to go ahead and do all that. Now, let's go ahead and jump into Twitter. If you guys haven't, uh, come give me a follow on Twitter. I do greatly appreciate everyone who has been following me. It definitely means a lot. So SafeMoon did put this video out here. I'm going to go ahead and play it real quick for you all. Thank you for the support of SafeMoon Wallet Open Beta Launch. We are monitoring all testers' feedback, and it's time to get serious about the SafeMoon Wallet. Yes, super exciting. I love this. We take initiative, design, and strive for perfection. The future of trading is here. Easy of use, built for all. So perfect. You can send safe moon. Perfect. Let's see. We got the fall launch, full launch, 28th of August. Can't wait. We got this available on Android and iOS. Yes. Excited for this. So let's see if there's anything... Pretty standard for the most part. Sweet. A safe moon wallet. Yes. So, yeah, we are happy to support you, Safe Moon, and we are just as excited for the full launch, August 28th. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick look here. This was uh, something I saw. Um, which really gives you guys a perspective of where things were five years ago for Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, XRP, and Doge. The most relevant, kind of the one that's compared the most to SafeMoon is Doge. Five years ago, Doge was 0 0.302379. So it's pretty mind-blowing to see where it's at today after seven years. But regardless, though, we can see what's happened with Doge within five years but i thought i'd show you guys this because it is something that i think really gives puts things in perspective as far as where safe moon is going to go once all the products are released with the wallet the exchange and the blockchain so that's all happening within the next six months so it's going to be interesting to see where safe moon's at at that point i'm not going to make any predictions not financial advice but you guys should all be excited for what's to come for safe moon another thing i wanted to show you guys is this how this was on hank's discord which i gotta say this is pretty awesome to see your boy just put a down payment on his first house before safe moon i could barely pay rent i just decided to ha happen to see this project on reddit and decided to jump in during week one best decision i've ever made i've made some of my absolute best friends while working here Met the absolute best mentor I could have ever hoped for, Papa, and so much more. I'm extremely thankful to God and all of the community for all the support I've gotten throughout this journey. No, I didn't sell my bag. I get a paycheck, and I have a fat mortgage rate. <laughs> Congratulations, Hank. Um, clearly, probably, I mean, that's probably the front of the house, but looks awesome. Congrats, Hank, on your house. Everybody go congratulate Hank. This is awesome to see how not just safe what safe moon is doing for all the holders and the people that are investing into it but even for their employees and the people that are on the team it's awesome i love seeing other people succeed i love seeing other people accomplish their goals and their dreams because of the fact that they're involved with safe moon i uh, i just love that so congratulations hank i know this post was from 6 12 so that was back in June. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead. And Papa, yesterday at 4.42 a.m., just dropping in to say I love you all and I hope your night goes well. Thank you, Papa. We love you and we hope that all is going well for you as well. Also, congratulations on the McLaren. I believe I saw a post about that. I'm not going to really show it, um, but congratulations on that as well. And another thing I wanted to show you guys before we finally get into the topic of the video is this is a question on everyone's mind. This was from VJ, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but shout out to them. 
Questions on everyone's mind. Why are whales selling right now? It's nothing to do with Safe Moon. It's about a once in a lifetime opportunity. You guys can go ahead and read through all that. I'm not going to read it to you. But one thing I did want to show is that uh, is this right here, this portion of the post. So many people are anguishing over Safe Moon price every day. However, it's a matter of perspective. If you came in early, you'll think differently from someone who came in at an all-time high. You need to be clear about the objectives and the reasons for holding Safe Moon. And yes, if you want to make a quick money, there are many other opportunities available for everyone. Make some money and come back if you choose to. Don't fret over Safe Moon price right now. Things will fall into place only once projects are completed this year and volume builds up in the first half of the next year. If you don't see it this way, it's the wrong token for you. Correct. Very well said. I always love pointing these types of things out because of the fact that a lot of people are questioning why is the price of Safe Moon constantly going down. Keep in mind, there are people who bought in right at the beginning and then there are people who bought in at the all-time high in it. It's most likely that the people that bought at the all-time high are the ones that are wondering why Safe Moon keeps dropping. You know, a lot of people bought it up on the way up or at the very top. So it makes sense and this really clarifies it all you know to, to people who bought it at the all-time high seeing the price kind of consolidate and kind of go back down to them they think that it's never going to stop but that's not going to always be the case it's going to eventually go up and to that point i want to go ahead and bring up this article the article is titled safe moon can help half a million investors turn millionaires by 2030 but here's the catch so safe moon investment advice this is not my financial advice this is obviously based off of this article and i apologize for all the ads just constantly popping up but as per safe moon's website two and a half million investors have placed their bets on the coin in hopes of becoming rich out of these two and a half million only 17 percent of investors own a hundred million tokens or more which is approximately more or less 430,000 people and only these many can actually turn millionaires if SafeMoon touches a penny. Financial experts claim SafeMoon can touch the one cent mark only after 2030 as the present decades of financial stability remains volatile due to glo global economic condition affected by COVID and the pandemic. Will all 17% of SafeMoon investors become millionaires? Now this is where I wanna really touch on the importance of the fact that not everyone is going to truly become a millionaire off a of safe moon, right? The qu answer is no, but here's why. And here's the catch to safe moon is because the crypto market is full of up and downs with little highs and extreme lows. The market can upset and drag and spit at investors with drastic fluctuations. Only the toughest in the market survival of the fittest can truly hold their assets up and above 2030. Investors don't simply invest and forget their holdings. They check it every day and every hour and get disappointed, which refers back to that Reddit post. To be much clearer, SafeMoon investors are mostly first-time buyers and dream of being millionaires as soon as they invest. Thousands of people are already upset that SafeMoon is going backwards instead of forward despite the coin being only five months old. Like Buffett said, if an investor doesn't feel comfortable owning a stock for 10 years, he is not worth to hold it for 10 minutes that's wisdom right there if you ask me considering this type of get rich quick mindset not all of the 17 percent investors would hold on their assets by 2030 and more than half of them are expected to sell their portfolio by 2025 this that makes the count reduced to eight and a half percent of present holders also considering safe moon breaks out three or four zeros by 2025 many more investors are expected to sell off their holdings reducing the number by another half, making it 4.2% of investors keeping their assets post-2030. So out of the present, 430 people would actually, uh, 25 of them out of the 430 can make it to the finish line when the coin reaches one cent milestone and earn millions. Save Moon in reality can turn every investor a millionaire when it reaches one cent, but the best way to do it is to read is to read the first line of the article again. One thing they're not factoring in is reflections. Obviously, everyone knows the math, for the most part, knows the math behind reflections and how people can truly live off the reflections if they choose to hold to the point where there's so much volume, at least a billion in volume on a 24-hour period. It would make it worth for people to be able to essentially have a good living off of just simply the reflections if they choose to hold. 
So this article doesn't mention that, and that's a good something I wanted to point out uh, for you all is that I believe there will be a lot more millionaires due to the fact because we understand reflections and how that actually works. So with that being said, I would love to know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section. Let me know if you're going to be one of the few people in the 17% of uh, here of the holders that turns a millionaire. Um, what are your guys' goals? Where are you guys looking to go with SafeMoon? Are you guys choosing to live off of the reflections? Are you guys looking to just have emerald hands and never sell? Which is unlikely. I mean, that's that probably drops down to like 1% of holders. So... Uh, with that being said, let me know in, your, in the comment section and what you guys plan on doing and what your goals are with SafeMoon. So with that being said, thank you. Make sure to come subscribe, like, and comment down below. It would definitely help. Come give me a follow on Twitter at SafeMoonSurge. I definitely would appreciate it. With that being said, again, thank you, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.